What's up guys? So we are here with Vortex and he asked me if I could uh, help him out with a base. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can make for him. He has a lot of suiting, so I think I'm gonna start in the middle. It's gonna just be like a regular base build. However, I'm gonna have like a little uh, shield generator party, kind of like how we did for the presents. We're gonna have our shield generator in here in the middle, but I need to see. Is that enough? That might not be enough. So let's see, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna have to be like, So we're going to go ahead and put some shield generators on top of that right here. But I just got to make sure that it's all evened out to a good extent. One, two, three. One, two, three. Build our little X. And just as usual, we're just going to do our traditional little uh, little build right here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, perfect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and just start adding some stuff. As of right now, I kind of just made like a little square right here, try to filter the shield generator just down, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more things on the bottom as well. I don't really think, I could put a couple more items right here, but I don't think I want to filter too much in. I just wanted to go straight down. It could potentially fall off, and that might be a problem later on, but I think we should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of things right here, just kind of give it like a little bit more of um, a padding, I guess you could say. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some turrets here for sure. And then after that, we're going to just see what we can do. I think we're going to use some ice cannons. I did see he had a lot of glaze, so that's definitely going to be a little bit more simple. A little bit more easier for him. I'm going to go ahead and actually add some. Add a little bit of a uh, pathway here. Perfect. Not even a pathway, just like a little pillar, I guess. That works out in case of the building in the fall. Right, it's not going to be too uh, too uh, secured, unfortunately. So I do think this is actually going to get destroyed over time, but we're going to see how this goes overall. It should hopefully last. The build so far is going to look a little something like this. He is missing uh, a plasma turret right here, and he doesn't exactly have too many star destroyers or laser killers, so I kind of left some of these things blank if you want to put something on there. Go ahead and choose what you want. But pretty much this is what the build's gonna look like from the kind of not really the outer layer, but one of the like kind of outside parts. We're gonna have like a little spike wall right here, kind of defending this area right here, and then we're gonna have these types of turrets right here. We got a lot of glaze there for sure. We have a couple ice cannons, so I decided to put them up there, and then I decided to go ahead and just add something new, the slime turrets. Not exactly sure how well they're gonna work. I heard that they got updated a lot, and now they're not gonna like the server. So I just want to see if that's true. And then for like our little like walkway here, I decided to go ahead and try something new. I'm not exactly sure how long this will last. I mean, technically the zombies should walk through here because they have a path finding. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Five blocks out. I think they should be able to do that. I, I Usually they go anywhere from five to about like eight. I'm pretty confident they'll be able to walk through. If not, they'll just like smack right here a little bit and then smack right here and then walk straight through. But yeah, this is pretty much what the design's gonna look like so far. But yeah, stay tuned to uh, see what we do next. All right, so I'm pretty much done. I did add a little bit of a side uh, thing on the all four corners of the build, and this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. This is gonna be the final product. So let's go ahead and kind of, uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. There you go, now I'm in the mode. So we did add some of the ice mines and some spikes to kind of defend like this little border area right here. And we did kind of add each one of the other turrets that we had. So pretty much the basic uh, turret kind of builds that we got added. And we also put some cannons as well. We had more, but um, I think for right now, this is going to be it. And so that's just how it's going to look on the entire outside. We have some mechanical turrets kind of in the middle as well, which is supported by some shot keys. And on the inside as well, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. We have some blaze. We have some rockets on top that I added for a last minute thing. And then we also have, like, the middle is pretty much where our stronger stuff is. Uh, I did have a couple leftover uh, ice and blaze turrets. Uh, or ice cannons, but I wasn't exactly sure where to put them, so I'm gonna leave it up to him to try to figure out where he wants them. Just because it was an uneven number, so I didn't want to like kind of put it in like a weird place. But yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Um, I don't think we're gonna do a test just because we don't have that much time, so I think this is gonna be it. But definitely, uh, this is gonna be kind of like a simple base build. He is a level 100. Uh, I think it's 126. He's 128. So definitely, will it be able to reach his uh, record? I think it might be able to. If not, um, I think it'll barely like nudge it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care.